These are four things. These are four things you absolutely need. Write them down. And once you check these four things off, then you can start dating. Okay, then you can start dating mama. But if you don't got these four back to the drawing board, baby. Starting off strong with numero uno is self worth. Okay. I'm gonna break this down in very general terms here for you and I'm gonna give you an example. Self-worth is the internal state of knowing you are good enough, that you are good enough as you are, you are good enough when you make mistakes, you are good enough when you fuck up, that you do not need to be perfect in order to be worthy of love, of respect, of a partner. Something that I think fucks up the worthiness for us is that when we have made a mistake or when we have some negative traits maybe or we exhibit some negative behavior, we can often go into that negative talk spiral where we convince ourselves that these, these things make us unworthy. As long as you know your worth, you do not need to prove your worth because somebody that sees your worth is the only person that you should wanna be in a relationship with. Knowing your worth could look like, I know exactly what I bring to the table. I know my value. I know how, how much of an impact, a positive impact, it would be to be in a relationship with me, to have me in your life. Like I, that knowing, it is the knowing. When you know that value, you are like, I'm fucking worthy of someone that does the exact same for me. If that's not checked off, stay here. We're gonna work on that. Step two would be, self-respect and this one this one is not putting up with toxic behavior disrespectful behavior this is standing up for yourself i respect myself enough to not be spoken to in that manner or in that tone i've told you once i've told you twice i don't appreciate that i'm done speaking to you right now it is being respectful of your own boundaries of showing someone, I'm not going to put up with this shit. I am not going to tolerate this and I will not allow this. I don't want this and I don't need to deal with this because I can go, how many people are in the world? I'm sorry, 8.9700 trillion billion mazillion. Exactly. There is someone out there that will speak to me kindly when we're having a disagreement. I don't need to deal with this. That is self-respect, baby. Number three, number three is my personal favorite and we're gonna do a series on it. Confidence, confidence, you need to have confidence. Put very simply, it is the belief in yourself. It is self-assurance of self-validation. You quite literally are so confident in who you are, in yourself, in your own skin. You have owned your flaws, you are working on yourself. You have invested time, effort, and energy into yourself to make yourself this great person for not only yourself, but maybe for your future partner. As it relates to dating, it is very important because your self-confidence essentially says to you in your mind, I am confident in my ability to attract the right people to me, that I can leave at any moment, that this stops being fun, that this is not something that I wish to engage in anymore. As soon as this person does something that is immediately a red flag for me, I am not scared to leave because I know that I will find someone. That is self-confidence. When you don't have that confidence in yourself, you say, oh, I don't think, I don't think I'm worth, I don't think I can get someone else. I don't think I can get someone else, so I have to stay here. What the, no, immediately no. And lastly, oh my God, I don't know, is this my personal favorite? Standards, standards, before you start dating, before you literally even start looking at people, what are your standards? What are your standards? What do you need? What I like to do is what are the standards that I have for myself? Like what do I do for myself on a daily basis? How do I treat myself? How do I speak to myself? And I also like to envision a relationship with someone. If, if I'm gonna be in a relationship, if I'm going to be in a relationship, maybe that relationship is gonna be a 10 out of 10 and it's not gonna be anything less than that, okay? And that's the only way I'm gonna enter into that relationship is if that relationship feels better than I feel alone. And also what things are you willing to offer into a relationship? Because the reverse should also be true. That person should be giving you what you are giving them. You have to know your standards. And so this means that when you start dating someone or you start seeing someone, you're not just blindly dating someone just because you like them, whatever the fuck that means. You don't even know you like them, okay? You're wrapped up, you're caught up in just having someone. You need to actually vet these people. 
actively observe them. Are they meeting your standards? Do you know your standards?